Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a kind of demo slash review of the new Vault collection from Jackie Hill, um, her collaboration with Morphe. Um, I did own the first collection. Um, I really enjoyed it. It had really great colors. The payoff was amazing. It's one of my favorite palettes, so when she was coming out with like the extension to this palette, I was super excited. Couldn't wait to try it, and thankfully, I don't know how this happened, but um, she, when she announced that it wouldn't be releasing until June, I think, 26th, um, I got an email from Morphe saying that they were doing like a grand opening for their new store here in Las Vegas, and they were going to be giving away, um, we are going to be able to... Um, actually get the vault collection early so that is what I did I paid early and I went and picked this up yesterday um I was super excited the store was crazy I was in there for like an hour not even this part was really simple I pre-ordered it and it was really quick um I just had to go to like a separate line and everything like that and I got this but I ended up like in the Morphe store for like an hour just like walking around enjoying the new store and things like that so that was really fun but um so it just came in that bag. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it's really cute, um, very chic I would say. It's just white with this um, silver label on it and it says the Volt Morphe times Jaclyn Hill. Um, it has her picture on the back and kind of her little spiel about what inspired this collection. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I'm not going to lie. I did take a sneak peek earlier. I couldn't help it when I got home yesterday. I didn't like try out all the shades, but I did look at all the, all of the, because there's four different um, actual palettes in one. So you get 40 shades. There's 10 shades in each individual palette, and they are color coded. So um, it looks just like this. Um, and it has this neat little kind of this string, so that way you'll be able to um, open. Or the boxes they'll just pull out by themselves, not by themselves, but they'll pull out when you pull the string so that way it's easier to grab because otherwise it's just kind of like this, kind of like a bookcase it reminds me of. So um, yeah, the sh the palette names are Dark Magic, Dark Magic, Armed and Gorgeous, Bling Boss, and Ring the Alarm. So like Jacqueline said in her own video, they are um, kind of color coded so we have the kind of the green palette, the yellow palette, the purple palette, and the red palette. Um, I'm more of a neutrals kind of girl, so uh, I mean all the shades I looked through here and they are all gorgeous. Like I couldn't wait to like get my hands on them, especially just to see for yourself um, when you get the palette. Like oops, it, these, they all have the mirror on there, which is really neat. Um, and then just the shades, they look so good. Like, even her just swatching them, I can tell they would be like good quality because I have the first palette. But just having these for myself just makes me so excited. Okay, so um, I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna go for tonight. Um, I'm thinking more like kind of chill summer vibes, but we'll see. I usually get kind of crazy when it comes to the eyeshadow. So I don't have a specific look planned out. I kind of just want to swatch and kind of review these um, just because I know that it's probably it's very highly anticipated and it doesn't come out for like another week or so. So um, I thought this video would be just really helpful in case you don't if you're kind of on the fence about getting it. You don't know if it's worth it. And we'll just see how it goes in this video. I'm super excited to film this. So. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we're a little bit closer, we'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I was so excited. You guys have no idea. I was excited when I heard about this palette because I just got the um, original one like not too long ago. And then um, when I was seeing like her teasers on Instagram and stuff like that, I was just like, okay, this is going to be big. This is going to be good. And sure enough, here we are. It's great. It's the way, like, I haven't even tried them on my lids yet, but I love just, like, looking at them. Like, it's just, oh, my gosh. It's, it's making me excited. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the one from the Dark Magic palette. 
palette right here. I think I'm going to take the color sh right here. <laughs> I just really sound like I just told you to like shut up or something. But um, I think I'm going to take that color on a... I got a bunch of new um, Morphe brushes too. So let's see. I'm going to take an E27 brush and I'm going to use that as a transition color. I'm not going to use a brush as a transition color. I'm going to take the color shush, shush as a transition color and I'm going to use my E27 um, brush to do that. So, I felt a couple of these like um, I swatched them on my arm and they like literally they're just like she was not joking when she said that um that they're the same formulation as the um original Jaclyn Hill palette they're all like so like creamy and buttery like definitely um not chalky or anything like they really did take their time when creating the second batch as well because your girl can tell Okay, so I don't want too much color. So I'm just gonna go like that, back and forth motion. And I'm thinking kind of orangey. I think I want like a orangish, yellowish one. So I'm most likely gonna be taking a lot of colors from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. This palette right here. And so that one has some good yellows, I can already tell. And then the one from the Ring the Alarm palette it has some good reddish, orangish colors. So I'll probably mostly be using that one's up, that one's. So I'll probably be using those ones more. And then I'll probably make another video using the Dark Magic and the um, Bling, what is it? Bling Boss. So. Okay, so first I'm going to go into the um, Armed and Gorgeous palette in the shade Agent. So I'm going to take that with my E17 brush. I'm just, I just put it in there a little bit, dust off that extra, and I'm going to work this more into my outer corner. So, but yeah. Like I said, I am so excited. Like, I walk in happier because I know I'm just leaving and, like, the guests. Oh, my gosh. Please be nice to anyone in customer service because I promise they will talk about you when you leave if you're not. And they'll talk about you when you leave if you're nice because they're like, oh, my God, it just has a nice. Like, you won't believe how much it, like, makes a difference the way you, like, treat people. Honestly, because some people you'll be like, who raised you? It's kind of ridiculous. Like, who, where did you come from? And please, can I send you back? Some people are just like really entitled and it's just, ugh, it irks me, honestly. So this is a really pretty shade. I can already see the summer vibe with this shade. Like doing something okay so this is it's blending pretty nicely I like it so far okay so this is a very summer like I keep saying so um agent that color is great so hmm I think I'm gonna stick to more orange than yellow so just to deepen that crease a little bit and give it a little bit more Pop of color I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go in with this shade in the um, ring the alarm palette I'm gonna go in with this one this is the shade alert I'm gonna take this one this M 506 brush and I'm gonna take that shade alert that kind of reddish tone and I'm going to try to keep it like really low to my lash line. Let's see how that looks. Because I don't know. Never done it. But never say never. Okay. Um, it's 
it's really giving me a nice like a deep pop of color if you can tell um i'm not experiencing any fallout or anything maybe a little bit but it could be just the way my brushes are i don't know um there isn't any fallout like on my face but maybe just a little bit on the palette like nothing too crazy okay we're just gonna go all in okay never mind so like because i'm crazy i'm just gonna go all up in here no regrets in summer 18. I just have Jake's song, Summer, oh, summer 16. Oh, summer 16. That's just in my head right now. But it's 18. So I'm just going to take that, I guess, all over my lid. Because, you know, yellow. I said color. <laughs> Baby gave me color. Okay. So that's in there. I'm looking a little bit crazy. So I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just kind of soften that up just so there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Um, I kind of wanted to keep my inner corner clear because I wanted to put like a really shimmery color up in there and give me a little <laughs> pop. But um, that didn't happen. So I mean, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is buildable. So, yes. Yes, honey. Honey. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's so, like, usually I'll, um, I have my full face on bef after, before. I have my full face on before I actually do my eyes. So, like, looking at me right now with just my eyes and, like, my eyebrows are done and nothing else, I, th I look kind of creepy to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I look a little weird. But, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, you know. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, just going to blend that out some more. And... Oh my god, I, I'm going for a creamsicle, if you guys know what that is. Um, those little, I think they're like, like popsicles, cream pop popsicles, or something like that. I have decided I am going to go into the Armed and Gorgeous palette again, and I'm going to take this shade right here. This is like the really, like, it reminds me of diamonds, honestly. It's called VIP. Which is funny, I just keep thinking about my freaking job, like, ugh. Okay, so I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. And then I'm going to go into VIP. And I'm going to put that in the center. Yeah. No, I can't. I hate, like, looking to see what brushes are really used for because it kind of throws me off because I see something. I'm like, oh, let's use it for that. And it's like, oh, but sorry, honey, it's not what that is for. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my E18 brush, looks just like that. Just gonna spray some Fix Plus on there. And then I'm gonna go back into that VIP shade and put it in the center. Ooh, ah, okay. I don't even do my eyeshadow like that, y'all. This is great, I love it. I feel so inspired right now, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna close my eyes. Do y'all see? Do y'all see this color? It's I'm my I feel like my eyes are like beauty. I don't know how to say it. They're they're like beauty handicap because I have hooded eyelids, so that's what that's one of like the main reasons why I like am not as into eyeshadow like i love eyeshadows like i'll buy a palette but it'll literally sometimes it'll just sit on my desk just because i love to look at it and i know like the potential of eyeshadow palettes and things like that but it's just like with hooded eyelids it's so hard like i'm Alyssa ashley she does such a great job on tutorials for like hooded eyes like it's crazy but i don't know sometimes i'm just like it's just challenging for me sometimes to actually 
know how to do my eyelids so I kind of just stopped and sometimes I can do it and sometimes like I just forget how to do it but I'm gonna try again and we're gonna see how it goes so I'm gonna go into I think I'm gonna take the ring the alarm palette and I'm gonna go into mugshot right here it's a little bit dark I'm kind of I'm gonna go I need something to blend this little situation we got going on that I've created so I don't really we'll see maybe if I like pretend my crease is up there even though it's not it'll blend it a little bit honestly we'll see so I guess it was that was kind of like a halo type thing but I didn't um I guess I'm trying to mimic a halo type look but I didn't really do it right I know that for a fact because I was supposed to like leave this clear and then put some more stuff down so this VIP will stick better but like I said your girl's challenged when it comes to eyeshadow but you know we'll make it work we'll make it do what it do baby boo but let me tell you I'm living for these colors right now like they are great I'm just gonna go in a little bit more with the VIP because it's not like as poppinous as I like it to be so we gonna fix it we gonna because honey this color is way too poppin to not be popping on my eyelid right now so I'm just gonna put that everywhere like a boss would because you know how bosses uh, come here with your little pops go looking on okay let me stop I'm being weird okay yes I love this color like this color and like a satin dress or something life living for it I might have just found what I'm gonna try to wear for graduation. The dress, not the, I mean, you know, you know, you feel me, you feel me, you dick, you dick. Okay, so I'm gonna go in to my crease with some, I need something dark, something. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna go back and to the Armed and Gorgeous palette and take the color Smooth Criminal right here. And let me see if I can make a little dark V or something. Something. Something's got to give. So I'm going to go back with my M506 brush. Take that color Smooth Criminal on my brush. And just, yeah, try to darken that up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Might be getting somewhere. Finally. Okay looking like a mesh it's looking like a medley right now so I can dig it I can dig it okay so that orange look turned red real quick but it's okay it's okay you know um I can be a raspberry popsicle you know? I feel like I shouldn't just leave it in the middle because I didn't do the halo right. So let me just go back in. This is not my last time going back into VIP, okay? And I'm just going to bring it all the way in because obviously she wants to be over there. And so I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. This color is gorgeous. Like, I don't know if y'all really understand. I don't know if y'all are... are picking up what I'm putting down but the shade is giving me life like it's, you'll have to see it for yourself when you get on the 26 right because you're going to get it on the 26 and we can be palette buddies okay so I'm pretty satisfied yep so I'm just going to go in with my M213 brush, looks like this, and I'm just going to take Alert, that um, 
burnt reddish color in the um, Ring the Alarm palette, this one right here. I'm just going to take that and drag it to my lower lash line. Ish, like, yeah. Just to try to pull the look together, give me that fiery look. That's a lot of color. This is so pigmented, like I barely, I barely did anything. I feel like a Mortal Kombat girl. Like, you know those characters in Mortal Kombat with the, their makeup is like really extra like this. See how fast I get carried away? This was supposed to be like nice, summery vibes, really like subtle orange creamsicle. That's like where we are now. So I'm going to finish the rest of this situation and I will come back to you guys. When I'm done, give me my final thoughts, my last little spiel on the palette, the collection, and everything like that. And, yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, um, I'm back. Um, just finished my face. Now that everything is together, I'm really digging it. Like, everything happens for a reason. I wasn't meant to be, what was it? What did I call it? I wasn't meant to be cream pop today. I was meant to be raspberry goddess. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Like, now I'm really, like, I don't know why. Like, I'm probably so weird. But this really gives me, like, street fighter girl vibes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. But super, super satisfied with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. Their little collab. Like, I already knew I would love it. I love Jaclyn Hill. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I think she's awesome. Um, I can tell that she really, um, she really tried. Like, she really, not, she didn't try. She did it. She did the thing. Like, I'm so satisfied with my purchase. Like, I would definitely, if you're kind of on the fence or you don't know, I mean, it, the collection, like the set, it retails for I think $49, um, but each individual one, it's um, $15, so even if you didn't like the way that all, like, you don't feel like you'll use one of the palettes and you feel like $49 is just a waste for a bunch of colors you wouldn't use, I would definitely say go to the store, go to one store, go online, just see which one. I would definitely say that you need at least one of these palettes in your life because it's they're amazing like they were created for goddesses like like me and you so i would definitely i sound hella sponsored wow i would definitely say go pick it up because i really think it's worth the money like it's you get a lot of bang for your buck like this is pretty cheap honey because i buy i am a i'm a collector okay i would, i only say i'm a collector because i buy a lot of things that I will not use. I buy things that I don't use just because I like the way it looks or like I just want to say like oh I own it but like this definitely with me getting more into um eyeshadow and things like that I will definitely I can definitely say that this is something that I'm going to be using like all four of these palettes. I'm so excited like this just makes me excited to like do another look with the other two palettes just so they get some play but um Oh my gosh, yes, I'm a makeup junkie, but I will definitely be, these palettes are going in rotation, like, don't get it twisted, I'm not, these aren't going, they're going to go on the shelf, but we going to play with it, so I'm just saying, like, they're great, like, the payoff is great, um, I'm just looking in my monitor right now, but, yeah, like, I love the way this looks, like, usually I'm not this, like, dramatic and Ba ba boom bam, but that's what Jackie Jacqueline Hills like. I'm calling her Jackie, like I know her Jack, Jack girl, my girl Jack. Yes, um, she's definitely elevated my life. Um, I'm very excited for this next step that me and makeup are gonna take together. We're gonna leap. We like with this look right here, we leaped. We did not like. I didn't like dip my toe in. Like I dove in with this makeup look so you know I had to be extra with the lashes like I'm just all out of my this is like out of my norm right now my look and I'm loving it like I can't I cannot lie I love it um 
it just makes me excited to see how many looks you can create with this palette what this like collection it's just I don't know it's doing something to me so as you can tell I'm rambling so it's probably the end of the video now because I'm gonna sound like an infomercial telling you to buy this product but like no joke real deal like it's the shit I'm just gonna say that like but like yeah if you want to even recreate this look just um send it to me I want to see the inspo because I haven't seen anyone create anything yet so that's why I was kind of like I don't know what to do thought I was gonna be a little cream pop but as you can see that didn't happen still very satisfied with the look so um yeah just let me know what you guys think of this video I don't even know if I told you guys my name I'm Asia. Well, my name is Asia, but everyone, not everyone, people call me Asia. You guys can call me Asia, okay? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.